Tambat Ali. This place has been here since the time of Peshwas. They existed to meet the religious and military needs. They made coins, utensils, swords and other metal weapons. They came from Konkan to Pune and now they work with tamba or copper. They have been around here for over 400 years now but due to the rising metal prices, use of stainless steel and new technology, the demand is very low. Very few people join this profession now. We interacted with the head of this organization and he said that there were 150 to 100 workers and only 30 to 40 remain now. The workmen hardly get any respect in the community but their kids are doctors and engineers. The NGOs help them market their creations. Back then there were a lot of facilities to aid them by the government but they were oblivious to it and couldn't make use of those. In the old days the products were handcrafted. Now the structures are made using machines. They use a traditional process of beating it with a steel hammer to get the design called Mathur Kam. We only make the design and do the finishing, he said. One of the workers is a graduate in business communication. He says that they require more space to work. The congestion gets to them because of poor ventilation. These vessels are sold for cheap locally, but they earn a good amount through exports. This piece, he said, can be exported for 2,000 rupees but it's sold in India for only 200 rupees. This is likely the last generation to work here. These heritage sites are dying because of poor reach and inability to adapt their ways to modern needs. This information could be used to their advantage by making the process of exporting a lot easier and increasing their reach to the foreign markets. Our efforts should thus ensure that they reach a larger audience and help them adapt to the modern growing market.